Hello, ladies and gentlemen in the social media world. This is Harold with Elite Merchant Solutions. And today, I wanted to go a little bit more in detail in reference to what the Clover Station is and some of the features and apps that it has that can benefit a small business owner, a small coffee shop, small restaurant, uh, mostly any type of industry can actually use it. Uh, for a small business. So I wanted to kind of show you what it looks like. Um, this is the Clover Station. As you can see here, it has a way for me to access it with a pin code. Now, as soon as I do that, there is an application there called Homebase. Homebase is for employees. So if you wanted to manage your employees on here, um, you would be able to clock in as soon as they access your system. For example, I'm gonna go in here, So now, it says, don't forget to clock into your shift, Harold. You haven't clocked in yet. At this point, um, as an employee, I would have access to clock in, and it would take me to that app. I'm not gonna go there yet. Um, I will show you in a bit. <clears throat> I just kinda wanna give you a quick overview on some of the things that it already has. <clears throat> so the Clover Station would be a small POS system, very robust, and has ways for you to uh, manage your business in a uh, in a great way actually if you are a restaurant you can manage your tables here on the tables app uh, your your waitress will be able to look at or see your all of your tables here how many guests you as the owner or manager you'll be able to see what waiters and waitresses or servers are assisting certain tables you have the quick view tab to see all of your tables, how many guests. You can manage your tables here. Here you could edit some of the tables, uh, change the names. Uh, you can remove them and then log. This is something that most business owners or managers like because as I said, there is a pin code assigned to whoever comes into the system. So if you're a restaurant, you will be able to see a log of what waiter or waitress or server did what, what did they do, the tables open, they cleared it, they moved items. Ultimately, you'll be able to see what's going on. Um, your tables, for example, so I clocked in, I mean, I went into the system, so it will show all of my tables that I have, uh, how many guests. Add a check, for example, and um, I can have them pay for their order on the spot. So that's what the tables app looks like. The register application is basically what it is, the register. Here, you would uh, select an item, just say side orders, kimchi, uh, an appetizer, fried rice, and uh, drink. Let me get a drink here, beverage, soda. There you go. So let's just say they wanted Diet Coke, and now I'm gonna go pay. This is the order. Then I can actually, um, because it has a meal here, I can fire it to the kitchen, okay? Here I could manually enter the card. I can use a gift card. I can use a check. I can select the amount, the total here, because they're paying like this, or they might give me a 10, a 20, or a 50. Um, if they're gonna pay with a card, I would just break off the card here because as you can see here it says swipe credit card so swipe credit card <coughs> here this is a very neat real nice neat system here um, for some of my customers in uh, Hollywood Beverly Hills or areas where there's a lot of foreigners it has a foreign currency buddy app which means if someone is visiting from Canada Europe, Japan, China, Mexico, Brazil, and just all of the countries are here. It, it, uh, it will update the exchange on the system. So if you wanted to chart, speak to someone that's from Israel, you would just sell them 37, 53, or, or, or uh, for example, Mexico, 185 pesos, and so forth and on. But this is optional, you don't have to add it. I have it there just because I like it and I like to show it off. So at this point, I paid for it. I wanted to uh, have the customer sign here. 
physically or manually, right? They will sign off on it. If you wanted to do this part electronically, you can actually go to the settings and make it electronically to where they would do it with their finger. You would just go like this. The customer will use their finger, sign off on it, and you would ask them if they want to text the receipt, email, or print the receipt again. If you wanted to void the transaction because you made a mistake, you would just go void. Are you sure you want to void? Yes. Print void receipt, let's do it. So that's the way the register works. Um, most of, of everything in this system is, is, uh, is at your fingertips. You can actually update it, uh, change the settings on it, take things off, put things, add things. Um, some of the great things about it is that it already has a system set up for you. Some of the downfalls on it is that it's not customizable. So basically, you get what is, what's here. You're not able to say, hey, I want this color coded like this, and I wanna be able to change the coding of the setup or move things around. You Basically, you learn about the system. If you like it and you feel that it works for you, then it's something that you, you know, it can work for you. Uh, keeping track of your transactions, all your credit card transactions will be here uh, separated. But you can filter by employees, tender types, all transaction types. Uh, you can select certain individuals, transactions, uh, certain employees. You can filter by employees, uh, cash, credit, checks, and that's how the reporting for the credit cards looks. For cash, this side will look. You have all the cash, a lot is coming in and out. One beautiful thing that business owners like about this is that you can download what you see here on your cell phone and you can access the orders in real time, the cash log, the credit card transactions, the reporting. Everything you see here is a software. So you're paying for a software every month and um, you have access to it through your cell phone. So this is the reporting. You'll be able to look at the reporting through this section here. And um, this is what it looks like. The dates, the payments, the refunds, the manual refunds, net taxes. If someone did discounts, items, payments. You can export this into Excel and send it to your accountant, actually. You can print it. You can look at today's, yesterday's, last seven days. You could customize it. Let's just say if you wanted to see a report uh, of three months ago, you would actually check it. You would see what's going on. Let me see what happened three months ago. Okay, you wanna look at the tips. For those that are restaurants, You this can help you identify the tips for each employee, transaction numbers, paying them a payment amounts in total so you know what to pay them out. Um, you have a way, a customer's tab, where you can actually create a CRM through it, and this is the way it looks. You would have the phone number, the email, the address, the credit card information. And uh, as soon as Mr. Robles comes into the establishment, you could just start a new order and start keying in uh, from your notes what the person might usually order, or if it's a retail, what he usually would um, acquire at your store. Um, you have a happy hours tab there. If you wanna add a happy hour, you can set a time to it and it will come up at a particular time. Uh, here what the car transactions looks like, again, uh, you can look at it by state, by date, state, uh, anything that's closed, open, you would just close it out from here. Um, discounts, if you wanna have like a senior citizen discount, a uh, Mother's Day special, you they would just click on the uh, discounts tab or a, uh, they would add the discount at the register. If you wanted to do a manual transaction, you can do so. Uh, now, what makes this system great here, one of the main things I like is this app market here. This app market has an application for almost anything and everything that you can imagine, from a waiting list, uh, checking, telecheck. If you wanted to take a check, you'll select this scanner here. Grab the check. I'm gonna grab an actual check for you. All right, put the check there, and it will scan it for you. There it goes. There it is. So that's the scanner. 
scan the check and you will be able to accept checks at your place of business through the check acceptance the rewards uh, commerce sync it helps you uh, sync all of your transactions and everything that's going on here you're reporting to QuickBooks which is a great thing most people will take inventory manually with a pen and paper old school and there's nothing wrong with that but if you want to upgrade your system the way you're doing it and keep more of a um a uh, simpler way this does all the work for you all you would have to do is export the data from here into commerce sync commerce sync syncs it right into quickbooks um has gusto payroll if you want to set up like a payroll system uh, a, a smart sms marketing if you want to do text blast or a uh, email blast to your clients it has applications that that do that that does that for you and um yeah i mean this system here it's very neat the uh, home base application that i was showing you earlier is this one here home base so let's just say i go one two three four five six i mean and obviously you're not going to see too much activity here because i haven't done any schedules for employees to work but the way it would happen is i would start on schedule shift or start my shift by clocking in this is what the schedules look like so if i was scheduled to work today um you would actually see my name there for today for this week you would see my hours that i'm i've clocked in and out um today and has the whole week there the reporting this what the reports will look like it will show my paid hours my wages unpaid hours um, what I've done in cash as far as my activities since I worked credit uh, any refunds that I might have done tips service charges and just different things like that and I will be able to print the report here or I would I would be able to um, go ahead and uh, e export it into Excel so yeah guys um, this is the way you would add your employees here add new employee and then once you add the employee you have a name a login pin you could select a row to authenticate and figure out the type of permission you want that employee to have and what do you want to have them what do you want to give them an access to your register your reporting and um, here you will select what each employee or what role um, would have access to certain things so obviously the admin would have access to everything so this is what you would just select admin on all the check marks uh, employee they might have restrictions on certain things and uh, you come back here and here you would actually see your setup and you can set up information for your business your orders the way you want your receipts to look you can actually customize it you can upload your logo there so we'll look if you want sir you want to add a service charge wherever you live you might want to adjust the tax allow tax rate to be removed if you work in a wholesale department or a retail where you um, maybe give discounts to certain business owners you might want to have access to um, waive the tax so that will be the section for that uh, another great thing about the system here is if your internet is down my cell phone i can use my cell phone as a hotspot i can actually select wi-fi here and go log in right into my wi-fi uh, right from my personal hotspot from my cell phone um you can plug it in directly with the ethernet cord has sounds and different things like that so guys if you want more information um or training with this system i can help you uh, my ultimate goal here is to educate you on how the system works and um, depending on your business, what keeps you up at night, what's your nightmares, what, what can you simplify your operation and your business um, as far as your workload. Uh, I know time is money and if I can maximize it uh, to help you focus on what you're good at, which is to increase the profitability at your business, I, wouldn't, I can actually provide you with information on certain apps that this thing has kind of like your iPhone your iPhone has an app store you can download certain things there for free some things you have to pay uh, nevertheless um, your app store and your iPhone can help you uh, simplify certain things this thing has the same concept 
uh, is like the iPhone of small POS systems. If you're a huge corporation or a huge establishment that needs a very detailed system, obviously the system is not for you. This is designed for a smaller business. Um, this also comes with a cash register and a pin pad. So you can have the EMV chip cards uh, being, it won't be swiped. As you guys know, the EMV changed everything. This is what the Clover Mini looks like. Very, it's the micro machine version of this. You insert the chip card here and then you would swipe it there. And then it has the printer in the back. Okay. There's many systems like this and um, would love to uh, give you guys more information. Please contact me if you have any questions. 213-359-4585. You can email me to harold.robles at elitedatacorp.com and I can actually help you answer any questions you might have. Till then, thank you very much. Happy New Year. Hopefully your holidays were great. Take care.